Okay, y'all, so my client came in today and she wanted XXXXXL nails, okay? So, of course, we're gonna start off with the nail prep from Valentino and the Young Nail Protein Bond. If y'all know, get into it because this is the best duo ever. I don't go without it, okay? This duo for me really prevents like lifting. It has my nail stain on for four weeks plus. Um, it's just the best. Like I use it. So um Valentino's nail dehydrator dehydrate once across all 10 nails and then grab the protein bar and um you go ahead and swipe that two times across. Okay, two times across all 10 of the nails. That's what you're gonna do so y'all gonna see me do this for the next couple of seconds but oh y'all this nail set i didn't not expect her to come in and ask for this but it's her 18th birthday so this is what she wanted this what shoddy got get purr big purr and y'all don't look at my nails okay i know you're gonna look at them but I service everybody and i don't ever have time to do my own nails like that okay but i am going to disney so i am going to be posting a whole disney set y'all like it's gonna be extravagant because i'm a disney freaking freak and that's that period so next i'm using cover peach by young nails i have a lot of young nail product i really love the way that acrylic um goes on to the nail and gives you a lot of time to um to work and work with the acrylic uh, i already started the nails because again this nail set took forever so i didn't want to put all of that into the video so i'm just going to show you guys here and i'm going to speed up the process a little bit uh, so you guys can see the work but of course it's not going to take all day for y'all to see it okay Okay, so because we are doing extendos, I am putting an extra layer of coverage just to make sure her nails are sturdy and do not break. So I'm adding another layer of acrylic over the base I just provided just for some more support and structure uh, to make sure that her super long nails do not uh, break. And I'm also going to show you guys the thumb because I am a big fan of thumb application. I love thumbs. That's my favorite nail to do. So I'm also going to speed up this process for y'all to see.
Now I'm going to get to filing the nails because I finished all 10 nails. Um, I speeded up the process of the filing because uh, filing did take a lot. Like these nails are long, you guys, okay? Um, I use an 80-80 grit. My files come from Nails Bling Supply. I love that uh, nail supply store. It's in Rialto. I'm um, in the IE, so it's in Rialto, but their Instagram is Nails Bling Supply. You can also order from them online. I, I use an 80-80 grit file for my acrylic um, after I'm done because, I mean, who doesn't, right? And then I'm gonna file the thumb. Uh, the filing took a long time. Like, I had to take a second because my hands were cramping up. But as you guys can see, the way that I'm holding the nails for support, I'm holding the entire nail plus um, her actual finger where the nail bed is at so that I do not hurt her while I'm filing vigorously um, to make sure that all my corners are sharp, okay? Because we want sharp nails, we want sharp edges, we want sharp corners. We want to be able to cut a fill in the blanks, right? Right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this up for you guys to finish watching me filing. And now I'm going to take my cuticle bit, which is actually, I think it's a backfill bit for um, when you do acrylic French tip nails to fill it in for the smile line. I was given this bit um, by an old co-worker at a shop I used to work at, and she was like, use this, use this bit. So I've been using it ever since, and I stand by it. I love it better than an actual cuticle bit. Um, because it goes around, of course, like the smile line of your cuticle area. So if you don't know, you would, this is the way you seal in your acrylic afterwards to prevent lifting and so forth. So that's what I'm doing right here for all 10 nails. Okay, you guys, um, make sure that you incorporate this in your process. When I first started doing nails, I did not do this. And I think that was one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why my nails would lift so easily because I was not basically securing, okay? Securing my back, securing the nail, period. After I file, after I um, do the cuticle area, I go ahead and I buff the nails. And I know it looks like I'm being rough, you guys. I'm heavy-handed, but trust me, I'm creating enough support underneath her nail by holding it for it not to hurt her. So don't come for me. Um, but yes, so I'll go ahead and buff everything away, um, all little ridges and stuff like that. So it's a smooth process when you apply your polish or your nail art. I kind of forgot to record, so I already started the process of doing her V French tip design that she requested. Uh, she wanted black. I'm assuming she's having a black dress for her 18th birthday party. Um, this design was really cute that she showed me the inspiration for it. So um, my bottle of nail polish is running low. I'm using Valentino black uh, nail polish. I don't know the number of the polish, but 
I love Valentino polishes. Um, so I made it work, y'all. I made it last to the very last drop. I think she used all of it, the rest of it. It's it's done. It's all done. Y'all see the length of these nails, and it was 10 of them. There's 10 nails, y'all. So, um, yeah. So I did all 10 nails just like this. Um, and I'll show you guys, of course, the rest of the process. My bad, y'all, if sometimes I'm very much out of frame, I I'm trying to learn how to position my camera and work at the same time. So um, bear with me with that, but y'all get the concept, okay? Here I am applying her crystals, her Swarovski crystals. I am using Nails Bling Supply a gem gel to hold it down i love this gem gel uh, i also after they are cured on there i go across the outer sides of the crystals with young nails brush on glue it's just extra security for me for purposes of making sure that the nails i mean the the crystals stay on in place and then i use the nail drying glue that comes it looks like uh, like hairspray like it looks like a hairspray bottle can so um, I spray that on then I wipe off with acetone and then I apply my top coat to finish off so again I'm sorry that I'm so out of frame you guys I have to do better okay I have to do better but y'all get the concept Here are the finishing touches. And they look so bomb, y'all. Bomb! 